All right, I have a birthday here. Rene Maron, I think it's called, uh, it's pronounced, aka the color Iron Siren. <laughs> Iron Siren? <laughs> yeah, apparently. Um, it says the number one DJ. Where's everyone? Everyone gone? Who can give me this picture? Um, let me take it over here. Right here. Happy birthday. Hope you have a great day today, which is coming from Kareen, who also has a birthday Kareen. today. Kareen! Kareen Williams, her promptera. It's come her for a hug. It's Why her should birthday come for today. Oh, come for a hug, no, sister. Oh, we can't. We have to socially, physically. Then she tell me say it's her birthday. Virtual. It's not her birthday. Well, she tell me say it's her birthday. Oh, it's her friend birthday. <laughs> Thinks it means it was her birthday. Her friend. <laughs> There you go. She just said in the greeting. She not said in, it's not her birthday. Hmm. All right, there you go. Happy birthday, Renee. And have a great day today. Terry sent a picture of her mom? Yeah. Yes, man. Show the show yeah, glamour. Yeah, I have to show this picture here, you know. This is Donna. This is glamour. <coughs> <laughs> Where you are? Come, son. What you posting now? Yeah. No, Donna, we can't manage you. Big time. That's right here at TVJ, isn't it? Yeah, man. There you go. Happy birthday, mama. And have a great day today. It's also Marcus Garvey's birthday. He was born back in 1887 in St. Anne's Bay, a Jamaican political activist, a publisher, journalist, entrepreneur, orator. But how much do you really know about Marcus Garvey? So we're going to give you some facts that every Jamaican should know about the outstanding Marcus Mosiah. I think Garvey. you just gave us one. Born yep. August 17, 1887 in St. Anne's Bay. Mm -hmm. His parents were Malchus Mosiah Garvey Sr., a stonemason, and Sarah Jane Richards, a domestic worker. The Garveys had 11 children, nine of whom died. Wow! wow. In early childhood. Wow. wow! 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 It's incredible. I didn't know that. Good Lord! I Only Malchus know. Garvey and his eldest sister, Indiana, lived to adulthood. I didn't know that. First time knowing that. Jeez, I'm By the way, he was conferred with the Order of the National Hero in 1969, at what was the only second schedule of the National Honors and Awards Act. He was Jamaica's first national hero. Okay, UNIA, we, most of us should know this. He founded the Universal Negro Improvement Association in 1914 on Emancipation Day, August 1. He launched the UNIA dedicated to improving the conditions of black people all over the world. The motto being, one God, one aim, one destiny. He founded the People's Political Party in 1929. It was Jamaica's first modern political party and the first to defend the interests of the black majority. He was unsuccessful in national elections, but won a seat on the Kingston and St. Andrew Corporation. <clears throat> Marcus Garvey fought for race equality, black pride, and the upliftment and improvement of black people universally. This is a legacy that he's left not just to Jamaicans, but to the entire world. More than a Jamaican icon, he is a global symbol of black pride, one of the forefathers who fought and spoke tirelessly for the advancement and the upliftment of black people. People. So after leaving Jamaica in the 1930s, Mr. Garvey lived in England, where he died on June 10, 1940. His body was brought back to Jamaica in 1964, and he's buried in the National Heroes Park in Kingston. Mm -hmm. And again, our first national hero.